Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to install a USB uh, duplex receptacle. So you got your regular plugs, then your two USBs in the middle. Uh, some of these are a little bit different. Some of them have pigtails coming off the back that you wire not together. This one has screws. So I'm gonna be showing you the screw type of this. The pigtails, you basically to do the same thing. Just take the color wire that matches the screw and then wire not them together with the um, wires in the box. So if you got a white pigtail coming off, you're gonna tie them to the white wires. The black goes with the gold screw. So, or I mean, if you have a black pigtail coming out the back, you're gonna pigtail to the black wires in the box and your green pigtail um, would go to your ground wire, your bare wire or your green wire. Um, if, if you have the kind of the wires coming off the back, I'm gonna show you the screw kind, like I said. Um, so first of all, you're gonna want to uh, take your uh, ground wire and either go straight in or wrap it around the screw. I'm just gonna wrap it around the screw. Um, this one's got a little bit of paint on it, so I'm just gonna try to scrape a little bit off of that real quick, get a better connection, and then kind of just bend it to help me twist it in there. And then you can also pinch it a little bit if it needs to be closed, because there's usually a little gap for the wire to come out. Um, so you don't want kind of kind of want the wire coming out the hole and not um, going over the edge because that will make a looser connection. So I got my ground wire tied in or screwed in and then I'm going to take my two white wires, go to the silver screw. At first I was kind of confused. I thought these are both silver screws and I went to flip it over and there was no uh, screws over there, so there are two different colored screws right here on this model. I think it's a Leviathan, I'm not sure yet, or a Leviton, however you pronounce that. But um, I got my two white wires sitting on the bottom, so I'm going to screw that down. If you got one wire, try to put it on the, uh, the side going in, um, if that makes sense to you. Um, but if you got two wires, it doesn't matter because it is what it is. But I feel like the most part, if you use whatever, whatever side you pick to screw in the plate, it doesn't really matter because it pinches it. But I still try to put it on the side pulling the screw in, if that makes sense to you from my other videos. If you follow me along, and then you're just going to shove it in the wall. It's a lot easier with one wire. Um, but the more wires you've got, the harder it is to push in. And then I kind of pull it back out, make sure the ground wire is out of the way, and not going to be touching anything else, like coming up here and touching these little excess strippings right there. And you're going to want to start screwing this down. The boxes are pretty loose in the wall. Unfortunately, this one's going to need a few caterpillars, so excuse me while I put these in real quick. So there's no backing on that. You could probably use a box extension, but for this video's sake, I'm just going to skip that. So I'll probably just go three. You kind of just loosen the plug up a little bit. If you need some backing on it. You pull these little plastic shims or also known as caterpillars. You can put it over the screw or fold it over the screw, if that makes sense. And you do want to make sure that the plug is straight, as you can see. Maybe you can't, but it's at an angle right now. So one, one way you can do that is take your screwdriver put it on the edge of the box, kind of bend it. Um, this doesn't seem to be working right now. Another method I like to use is grabbing my channel locks, kind of just grabbing the outside of the, or grabbing the outside of the plug, not the finished side, so they don't damage it. When you put it on the plate on, it's not going to be showing, so try to grab the back side, the back, the black side. Um, and grab that, and then just rotate it, kind of rotate it the direction that it needs to be to go parallel with the wall. Um, actually, not sure how I'm gonna do this right now. It is a little bit easier to make sure it's loose first. 
when it's loose, it's easier to bend it. Once it's already tightened down, there's less wiggle room. So, oh, and then another method is you can just kind of stick the screwdriver here and hit it with a hammer. I've just been hitting it with my drill. That's all I got on me. So when you hit it, it pushes it down to make it flat. So that helped a little bit. You can also just kind of lean on it like that. So that looks pretty good now. It looks a lot better. And then you are going to want to make sure it is as level as you can going in the wall. I think it's could probably use a few more caterpillars because it looks like it's diving into the wall. Um, but we'll see here in a minute. And then also you're going to want to level, level the side of this out. So it's straight when you put the plate on and it's not right now. So you kind of just take your screwdriver and bend it in the direction it needs to go. So this needs to go basically all the way to the left. This box is just super loose in the wall, so my tight head's basically just pulling the whole box up. And that's going to be bad because it's bending this and it's, it's going to be harder to put the cover plate on. Basically, you want the plates going straight, so really easy to put the screws in. If your, your ears bend, you can kind of bend it back by hitting it. Kind of bend that back out. sucked into the wall so that's not good. So I'm just going to try to tighten this down real quick. We'll see how bad it looks once I put it on. If it looks good then I'll just leave it. If not then I'll fix it. So it still needs to go a little bit to the right. So since it's already all the way to the left on the top side I'm going to have to pull some out of the bottom and push it over a little bit. I'm going to add a screwdriver, try to hold it and screw it at the same time. So, now that that's in the middle, I'm going to try to screw this on. And obviously, there's going to be a little bit of holes on the outside. It's a little bit cut big and a little bit grown down a little bit loose. Basically, you're just going to want to screw your cover on once you get all those things figured out. Um, so, it's coming off parallel to the wall, uh, straight going, basically, when it's coming off the wall, you want this side straight so it's not crooked like that, and then when it's um, coming out of the wall, you want it straight, not going like one way or the other, if that makes sense. So. Anyways, I think it's a little bit crooked right now, you get the idea, I'll fix it once I end the video, but I'm just going to want to screw it in if it looks like my screw hole's in there too deep, so I'll have to edit, add some kind of uh, another caterpillar to the top so it'll bring it out and so I can grab the screw, but that's basically the idea right there. Um, is that wasting any more of your time? Um, so once you screw that in, you're done, all the way your screws out, and then uh, that'll do it guys. So. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video or if it was helpful, drop a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe. We'll see you guys back in the next one. Check the description for anything else. And hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Thanks guys so much. God bless and awesome Mr. Day. Peace out.